This is a video demo showing how to apply the friction technique on the tendons of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. The demo is on right arm. Before applying the technique, check with your patient about use of any anti-inflammatories or anticoagulants. If so, it is contraindicated to use the technique. After that, Get a specific consent from your patient before applying the friction technique because it may cause any discomfort or pain to your patient. The de Quervain syndrome is a fairly common condition affecting the tendons of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis and the synovial lining of the common sheath. Those structure gets inflamed due to overuse and develop some adhesions between the structures. The friction technique is applied to increase mobility of the tendons within the sheath. When you apply the friction technique on a tendon with a synovial sheath, you need to put the tendon in a maximum stretch. Have your patient in sitting or supine position. Support the patient's forearm and hand by a pillow or a towel to allow a maximum force between the tendon and its sheath. Here is the example of the position for the tendons of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. Palpate the tendons at the distal radial aspect of radius. If you are not sure whether you are on the tendon, ask your patient to extend thumb actively. Then, you can see the anatomic snuff box and its medial and lateral borders. Locate the lateral border of the anatomic snuff box. Then you are on the tendons of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. Move your fingers back and forth about two or three cycles per second at right angles to the fibers of the tendon without any lubricant. Check your patient's pain tolerance. If it is less than four out of five, you can continue for one or two minutes and ask again about the pain tolerance. It should be less tender due to the analgesic effect. If it hasn't decreased, or has increased, you must stop. After applying friction, the tendons of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis are stretched through pain-free range of passive relaxed or active free range of motion. The patient's thumb may be in the fist with ulnar deviation to give full stretch on the tendons, and then apply an ice pack on it. When you reassess the tendon by the resisted range of motion of the muscles, the patient should feel some immediate improvement. This is all. Please watch the video demo called The Friction on the Ulnar Collateral Ligament to get more details of the friction technique. Thank you for watching.